jerseys, no tank tops, no crop tops. No shorts, no leggings, no yoga pants. No oversized clothing. You're making that up. No oversized clothing? Why would anyone ban oversized clothing? Is he against being cozy? So what are you gonna do about it? Do? It's the dress code. It's a code. It's a school law. That's been in effect since February. It's not like he can monitor what every student's wearing. He's definitely gonna be monitoring Andy. And it's so unfair. You're not a troublemaker. Maybe you should be. No, 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 no. You do not want to run with the troublemakers. They're like coyotes. They're mean and they hunt in packs and they're night feeders. How's middle school going for you, Cyrus? Bit of a roller coaster. Okay, well, there are other kinds of troublemakers, like the ones who don't let somebody tell you what you can and cannot wear. Does any of this seem fair to you? No, it's not fair. It's like we're in prison. Prison? Mm -hmm. I gather you're not happy with the dress code. Up until yesterday, we didn't even know we had one. And everything worked just fine. Did it? Then why am I here? Why does Jefferson Middle School suddenly have a new principal? We give up. Your grade point averages, your test scores, your numbers are falling. This used to be the third ranked middle school in the city. Now it's 10th. Out of how many schools? 162. So that's what, a 4.3% drop? Her test scores are still very high, but her socks may be too colorful. <gasps> still not exercising that sense of humor, I see. We understand that there needs to be a dress code. All we're asking is that it's reasonable.